what's good everybody? It's the one who never takes a loss, Ice Cool Boss, your source for the Toronto Raptors. Welcome to the 17th installment in the Raptors series post Kawhi, a series in which I follow the Raptors road to a new championship. Previous episodes will be in the description down below. After winning an NBA championship, the Toronto Raptors have scored massive new upgrades for Scotiabank Arena. 20-year-old Scotiabank Arena is receiving a multi-million dollar renovation. The parent company of the Raptors, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, or MLSC for short, has greenlit an abundance of improvements. After the overwhelming popularity of Jurassic Park in the playoffs this year, in which Raptors Way was packed every night like sardines, MLSC has decided to put in a bigger, better flat screen in Jurassic Park to increase visibility to the fans who are in the back of the crowd. The new 10.7 by 18.6 meter screen is going to be a Burger King whopping 40% bigger than the 9.1 by 15.5 meter screen currently there. A construction crane is currently working on the new replacement as we speak. What is better than one massive flat screen? How about two massive flat screens? MLSC will bless the Scotiabank Arena with a second flat screen on the west side of the arena so that multiple games can be viewed at once. These new improvements will enhance the fan experience all around. How excited are you for the new screens? Let me know in the comment section down below. Scotiabank Arena is adding more than some flashy new flat screens. The arena will be constructing a new pedestrian bridge in an effort to reduce traffic congestion of fans taking the same travel route to enter and exit games. The new pedestrian bridge will be built over Bay Street. This new bridge will connect CIB Square across the street to the second floor Galleria on the north side of Scotia. This new pedestrian bridge is great because it will allow pedestrians to walk through the arena daily, even when events are not taking place. Businessmen and businesswomen, there is no need to worry because Scotiabank Arena has not forgotten about your needs. Scotiabank Arena will also be making numerous improvements to the premium area called the Chairman's Suite. Additionally, there will be more entrances added for premium guests to ensure you won't be late to indulge in your complimentary champagne and caviar in your box seats. And let's not forget, there will be increased capacity for premium guests as well. And finally, the Scotiabank Arena is investing in improving its app. New updates will include the ability to view which concession stands have the shortest line at any given moment. Now that sounds like an app I can get behind. I'm excited to hear about all of these new improvements taking place at Scotiabank Arena over the next 4 or 5 years. This will make the overall fan experience a more enjoyable one. It seems like the Raptors must have made some serious bank after they became world champions. Now they're using the profits to make some much needed improvements to the arena. Enough of what I think. What do you think about the new upgrades to the Scotiabank Arena? What upgrades are you most excited about? Which upgrades to Scotiabank Arena would you like to see get some more attention in future upgrades? And finally, how will these improvements benefit the Raptors in the years ahead? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for today's video, take it easy, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified when I provide new NBA content. See ya!